So uh, how about we hand it over to Jules? What are your thoughts on the potential of generative AI, but also the limitations? You know, I, I, I think that there's enormous potential if it's applied in a domain specific way, like the current generative AI stuff, you know, looking at things like stable diffusion or mid journey, you know, text to image, text to asset. You know, what I think is, is intriguing about this system is if you train it on, let's say, and there are domain specific uh, AI models, for example, tracking body motion. Um, so you can sort of skip the mocap step or putting face, facial markers on a face. Those things can be used today for production and they're very advanced. Um, obviously, AI denoising is something that we've been leveraging for about five years. Um, there's also a ton of post-processing that you can do. I mean, a lot of the in-painting and out-painting and filtering that can be done, um, let's say with a cryptomat pass uh, directly over a render is pretty interesting. Uh, and I think the real interesting thing for me is at what point do you get you know, models that are generated that are really clean and good meshes? You know, Because right now, a lot of the text to 3D generators generate something that's like kind of a mushy paper mache mesh. It's, it's a lot like NERFs, which are also really good, but not exactly a precise scan. So I think that the limitations are that, you know, you're, you're getting some sort of intermediate 3D format out of the generators. But I think if you apply that to taking existing models that are at ground truth and then doing things like deforming them or animating them even, which I think is an extremely powerful tool that AI can help with, you're going to get to see a lot of really great results. And I think, you know, effectively text to scene generation um, I think is going to be something that will probably happen in the next year. And that will make a lot more artists able to just generate beautiful renders and have those renders themselves, not be images, but be scenes that could be shared and built upon. So I, I think that's a pretty important piece of the future. The whole idea of skipping the entire ray tracing and rendering step and going right to an image, you know, you still see issues with, you know, as um, others were saying, you know, six fingers and things like that, that may get fixed, but you still want to have something that represents, let's say a 4D, slice of time and, and scene graph space. And I think there's still some, some work ahead to get there, um, but we will get there.